Welcome back, Chatterbox fans. Again, it's us, the Chatterbox crew. Thank you so much for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the love. Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. The comments, I'm seeing my name pop up because I'm the new kid on the block and I'm loving it. But we are not a crew just by me. It's all of us. So let me introduce everybody. We start with the Polo Network. P, right down there. Then we've got Ladies Love Andre. Hey, man, man shining, shining. The man with the power. <laughs> the man with the voice. The man who commands attention. We have Dez. Oh, was that me? Oh, yeah, I thought you were talking bro. about Andre, man. You know no, what I mean? The man, man with the power. The man that commands attention. The ladies <laughs> love. That's what it was, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right, cool, man. Okay, so this week we are reacting to a trailer called Sanju. Sanju is a biopic pick. And it depicts the life of Sanjay Duty. Now, this guy is 61 years old and has acted in over 187 films. I'm talking romance. I'm talking action. I'm talking all of it. So this biopic pick is going to depict his life story, his personal life, his acting career, and his controversial prison sentence. So, guys, are you ready? Because I'm ready to see yeah. some real stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's yeah. run the trailer. Yeah. Ooh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a big day for me. Because my autobiography, my soul, is coming in front of you. Where will you get so much variety of life? I'm a kid, 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 चलो <laughs> आपका बेटा के साथ बातें करता है पिछली बार फिल्म में फ्लॉप है इन शॉर्ट फिनिश मेरा बेटा कोई गुजरा हुआ वक्त नहीं है जो लौट कर वापस नहीं आ सकता टाइगर है तू टाइगर रोड क्या नहीं है रोड You know, I want to know what cameras they use for this, you know. Because, I mean, yeah. and what they use to edit, man, because the, the coloration is mad. Oh, it's a lot, a lot of traffic. Hey, Momo, check it out. Is there any accident? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, taxi, let's go. Baba, Baba, I've called a landline phone. Wow. 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 Well, 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 well. Okay. I certainly live the life. Mm. Yeah, he just yeah, lived that. a life, man. Trust me. Yeah. What's he doing right now, anyway? Besides um, well, acting. Um, 
<laughs> I would like to say. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me call him. <laughs> hey, what are you doing right now? <laughs> you know what, he, he said, what do you want to know that for? <laughs> I'm, you know I'm looking mean? at this and I'm seeing like this big biopic pic of someone's life that's an important message to be told. And I'm watching it and it gives me the vibes of all the other ones that have come out. And I'm just quite disappointed that this film didn't get as much... Um, it didn't get as much reception as the other films, the other biopic picks that came out. Yes, we do want to hear about Elton John's life. Yes, we do want to hear about Freddie Mercury's life. But really? please, this is a good story as well. Like, really? I, it looks good. To me, it looked good. So mm. far, it looks good. And, and the thing is, you have to kind of clock, this is an actor who got into a place where he was selling guns. What's going on there? Like, that's... Like, there's, there's stuff in here that I think is there's a big story to tell here. There's a big story to tell here. And I'm sad yeah, well, that... yeah well, I think with these stories, I think because um, I was reading up about it as well, and like the, there was complaints about it. It didn't show everything, like it did, and it was trying to um, humanize it maybe. And the director fought back by saying, "But wait, I showed you all the stuff, bad stuff that he's done as well. So what's what's the problem? Is that not yeah. real? Like so, it's a it's a balancing act with with true stories because sometimes they leave stuff out as well because maybe like because he's left out." He's, I think, first and second wife, if I read correctly. If I remember remembering what I read correctly, they yeah, left yeah. That, that that story completely. It, it looks interesting because he certainly lived a full life. So much going on, drugs, terrorism, mm. all these different mm. things that happened with him. So it looks interesting to me anyway. My life ain't that interesting, but I like my life as it is. Would I watch it? Mm, not really. I mean, I've all gift, I've all take my hat off to the guy, man, I've got to salute him with my right hand. You know what I mean? I just say, yeah, he lived a good life, but still, nah, not a film for me, man. What mm. Watching that, it was interesting. It felt like a journey. It was clearly a journey, just watching it. It felt like one of Des's conversations, um, but it was, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was, some bits of it were good, some bits of it were like, uh, I don't know if I would be rushing to the cinema to see this if that's, this came out. I'd be like, I'd watch if it was on TV, but something, it didn't grip me. I'll tell you what I do like. I do like the actor's dedication and his transformation in certain like lifetimes as he's doing, because I read as well that he like asked them to give him a month off between every you know step of time where he has to change you know physically and all that for a um, month. Stage his life yeah 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 a month he did that in a month gee i need to get his um kind of read, did, read, you, so. did you see when he was yeah. like uh, uh, i was like damn all right i have a month i'm sure maybe, maybe they did that bit first you never know but yeah it was dedication though that i like the dedication of the actor but yeah in terms of the movie we'll, we'll see interesting but we'll see for a guy to have such a, a colorful life uh, a it documented as well in such a way you can't really beat that ultimately. I feel like they wanted you to feel like he was on a trip because I feel like a lot of his life he probably felt like that. And you know, the colours was something that I noticed in the trailer. I I never like to speak on the colours because I always feel like I'm a five year old where everyone else is reading the book and I'm like, yeah, pictures, but like colours really, really stand out for me. So I really like was clocking the colours throughout the trailer and it did feel like it was showing that. If anything, if you can look at his life and see the terrorism, the drugs and everything, all of those things, at least you can see that it was colourful. He had a colourful life. He lived a life of some sort of substance or some sort of colour and some sort of joy and love and all the things that happened with him varnishing the toilet seat before putting it on her neck. We need to talk about that. That actually happened in the trailer. Yeah. We that saw was it. Was it. High. <laughs> my, my life was high. Come on, you gonna do that? What was, what was happening? <laughs> the, I don't he's understand. Like he's he didn't get smacked. He, 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 smack. <laughs> he must have. He must have stole her necklace and went and pawned it to buy some thing in it. <laughs> and he's giving her that man. Come on. What stood out for me and which had me nearly throwing up inside my mouth was that I was a lot. I think it was very graphic. I think I would mm -hmm. that, that poo scene. I, I just I just would die if that happened to me. I don't even know how I'd come back from it. I'll just say, where's the where's the I'm electric not... chair? Just put me in it. Done. I couldn't nah. It's one of my biggest fears of prison, you know. That whole kind of thing of going, 
it's going to be like boys club and you have to fight your way out. I'm actually slightly prepared for that. But what I'm not prepared for is stuff like that to happen. The uncleanliness. If I sleep and a rat goes by my head, it's over. Like, I feel like, like it's over. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, until I saw that scene, I had never even contemplated it. I saw <laughs> that and, and my fear of prison got worse. Because when you watch prison movies, you don't see that often. You don't see that in Oz. Like, you see all the little attacks, yeah, but you that. don't see poo coming through. Oh, you've, you've seen all kinds of stuff in Oz, though, man. You've seen all kinds of stuff. That's yeah. that's different level. But P, I thought you just come out yeah, of prison though. Was, huh? was, was, I thought was, you just come out of prison, man. Favorite prison. Yeah, no, because I, I went to visit you. <laughs> Remember, I was doing prison <laughs> ministry. That's, that's why you had to be talking. <laughs> but yes, if any of you guys have seen the movie, please comment, like, subscribe. Tell us anything that we've missed out that we don't know about the movie. Maybe that will make a few of these guys want to watch it. I wanted to watch it, but that's because I'm into the psychology of the man himself, So, which I think is very interesting. But yes, we can't wait to hear back from you. Like, subscribe, comment, and share some love. This is what we're here for. See you guys next video.